this is a install of a Razorback infrared uh, belt temp sensor. I think it's one of the most important things you can put on your car. This is my brand new car, 20 miles on it, 2022 XP Pro 4 Sport. So what I found is in here, inside the clutch, they said to put it in up here. You won't be able to because there's this kind of spline or like support in here. So what I figured the best way to do it is you're gonna have to take the clutch apart and pull your secondary off, which is no big deal. Um, so I've removed the housing, obviously. I've removed the belt. The next big step here is to uh, figure out where exactly you want, you know, you need, you need that lined up perfectly to figure out where you need to drill the hole so it can point, this can point down inside there and get you an accurate reading. So basically I'll use this little Sharpie here and kind of run it in here, actually setting it in the clutch housing and give it like a little rotation and that'll give me an exact center of where this sensor needs to go somewhere in here. So if you go inside there, you can see I've made a line that shows exactly where that sensor needs to go. I'm going to pull this off and that will, um, allow me to have access to drill out this way because there's no other way to drill. So we'll see how this, uh, see how this goes. I've already removed this, so it's not torqued or anything, but nothing more than that. You want to be super careful not to uh, drop these spacers because I'm sure there's, well, it's not super complicated, but there's some sort of, you know, layer to these. We'll set those in a safe place and then we'll remove our secondary clutch. So. I've drawn this line, you know, using the path of the clutch. Um, you don't want to really put it up here. This is all exhaust, heat, hot, whatever. It's kind of hard up here. So I actually made the line go down a little bit further and I have it connected and everything. And now I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to mark where I want to drill, which is in this location. So again, I'm, you know, within half inch or so, but now I've marked an official location where I want to drill. And uh, now I got to figure out how to drill that half inch hole. Because this is such an odd angle, short bit puts the drill here, long bit puts you back here, but at least it gives you kind of a better angle to it. I don't know. I opted to buy one of these ginormous Milwaukee bits, kind of expensive, but um, I figure it'll give me a better pull. I have one of these little 90 degree jobbers. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so I put a little cutting oil on here uh, to try to help this process. I put some rags down in here to make sure uh, it catches some of these shards. So here it goes. That was super sketchy, uh, but we got through by using this right angle drill, this super mega drill bit, and we were able to, to punch through and get the hole in there. So now we'll have to, um, we'll get the IR sensor and we'll get ready to get this cleaned up and put that on there. So the sensor is in there. Just barely through the surface, enough to get a few threads on there. Again, the belt's spinning right here, so you don't want it to be too deep. This is hooked up back here. Cables run up, put some zip ties and whatnot on here. And that's uh, that's our install. So we'll put our clutch pieces back on. Put our belt back on and plenty of clearance. Let's 
dead center on the belt. So we should get temp reading should be good. Now we get to install all the rest of the stuff on the other side, all the electrical and the gauge and everything. So the second part of this assembly of this product here is to get this bracket. I opted to put this bracket on here so that my belt temp sensor gauge is right here in front of my face. Uh, and that connects to the, the readout. I have uh, XP Sport, so it doesn't have a telescoping wheel. It's really hard to get to these bolts. So what I did was just removed four 10 millimeter uh, bolts here. Two are actually um, threaded and two of them have a nut on the back. So you gotta kind of like wiggle around and then just unplug this and now it's free and I can essentially assemble this like so with the provided parts and pieces. This is the Torx on this is a T27. Sure would be nice if everything was the same size, but it's not. Looks like they have some Loctite on there too, so I'll make sure to re-Loctite those with the new pieces. The kit to, to bolt this on to the, to the display here has three spacers. There's a spacer that's flat on both sides. Then there's a spacer that's cut at an angle to sort of match this angle. It's a little confusing, there's no directions. So uh, lay those, stack those spacers in there with the angle matching this angle. And then there's a third spacer goes here for this one. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of Loctite to these and bolt it back down and then put the whole thing back together and then start assembling the gauge and, and the rest of it. All right, so I ran all the wires and here is the moment of truth. Yes, I love when that happens. Well, I hope that video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer anything. You could also reach out to Razorback. Uh, seemed like a really great group of people up there in Idaho. Um, I don't have any affiliation with them, um, but um, I have spoken with them before and they seem like a really good group. So uh, you could also reach out to them. If you liked it, give me a like, subscribe. I have some other videos, Baja Trip, and um, a video about using your iPad for navigation. So yeah, till next time.